All right, guys, two months, cold start, no choke. Welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd do a little cold start there. Uh, it's winter time, it's rough on this garden, folks. We, we wanna be in the dirt messing, but got a hitch today. Uh, let's see if we can get it on the truck. Now this is, this is not a how to put a BMW hitch in your truck. This is JT West is putting one in his truck or Will and Joe is putting one in the truck. So we've had it oh, probably a month now. So let's break into it and see uh, what we got. And no, I don't have, I don't have a fifth wheel. Uh, but this, you know, guys, I plan on keeping the truck for a real long time. And you never know what happens. Maybe you got a buddy. I got several buddies that's got fifth wheel RVs. Maybe they break down, need some help. You can get a fifth wheel. You can, my gooseneck trailer, you can drop the tongue out of it and buy a fifth wheel tongue for it. Some guys say that it pulls better, drives better. I don't know. Um, so, leastways, I've been watching the prices of them, and when I started watching them, it seems like they were around 11, 1200, and they'd start getting on up, creeping on up, creeping on up, and I said, well, the longer I wait, the higher they're going to get for sure, so I'll go ahead and get one now. All right, well, this is the top part of it. I didn't want to put you through too much of that unwrapping. I'm kind of slow unwrapping. Wrist is a lot better. It's a little bit sore, but uh, it's near not what it could be, trust me. We might actually have to break out some instruction, guys. Uh, I guess this would be the top part. And she is plenty heavy enough. There we go. So top part, I would imagine that this is gonna go in there somewhere in there. Um, and add a lock back and forth there. So we'll get this out of the way and get the other one open. Well, here's the bottom part of it. Looking mighty heavy to me, guys. We may have to, uh, incorporate Ellie out here. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get Ellie. We'll get it out, get it on the truck, and we'll look at some instructions, and we'll be back in a minute. Well, we got these installed. It, I didn't see the torque on these at first, and so I said, okay, uh, the torque wheel is going to be whatever this thing is. <laughs> and, but it actually turned out to be 110 foot-pounds. And believe it or not, uh, it, it wanted to go just a little bit more when I did torque it with the torque, torque wrench here. But uh, so far, so good. I, like I said, I don't have a trailer. So there was two inches behind the axle I could go two inches in front of the axle. When I'm going dead over the axle, since this is a long bed, um, never, you know, I, I never say never. I'm not saying I would never have to adjust it, may have to. And that's okay, we're gonna keep all the instruction book that's in the truck. And, uh, but we're, I'm setting it up for over the axle. Uh, you could go from 17 inches high to 19 high, and I'm gonna go 18. So we'll hit it in the middle there. And uh, we're going to get Will to give me the camera. And Ellie and Will is going to try to sit this down in the puck system of the bed, which is these holes right here. Um, I do have these loosened up, just hand tight. So we get it set in there, then I'll tighten these down. And then we'll work on seeing how the latch feels and if we need to adjust any of the lat latching on it. Now, you may want to run the kids out of the room right now because if any one of these two boys scratch my bed, 
It's going to be some bad language. <laughs> All right, let me have that, Will. All right. Guys, we'll try to do this while I'm filming. So we want to set... All of these need to be straight. Yep. Yeah, raise up a little bit so you don't dig into the bed liner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Get on that side there. Yeah, I'm not sure how y'all want to do this, but it's got to be picked up. You can reach over top yeah, here, can. too. And so you want to set it right down in that puck. I noticed your handles moved. Get your hand on the right side, Ellie. You're not in on this side, fix your thing. All right. Everybody in? Yep. Okay. Will you come get the camera and I'm going to get back up there? I'll do that. There's a certain tightness I'm looking for. It's hard to get up on a truck bed with one arm. Okay. So. Okay, everybody in right there. Now what we're gonna do now, let's tighten these back up. And let's put a little more horsepower on it. Just a, a hair tight. That one could probably be just a hair tighter. That needs to be a little looser. <coughs> adjust these up. Ellie, give me a pair of side cutters. It. You can feel it really cinch it down there. Mm -hmm. You can feel it let up. Which I, I swear that would be something that I would probably check every time, just about. Put a few extra carter pins in the truck. Yeah, you feel it. All right, we got these like I want them. Um, not too tight, not too loose. Just a kind of a good snug air. Sounds a lot worse than it is. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting it at a bad angle here too, guys. My wrist ain't quite all got all the way back. And then we installed this little piece here, whatever it is. It said put it half inch on the driver's side. And it just uh, clips onto that. We actually use a lot of them, believe it or not, at work. <laughs> um, so I think all we got to do now is set the, set the plate down on. And... Uh, I think it's, I don't think it's really a whole lot of adjusting on it, just sitting it down on there. So we'll get Ellie and do that. 
scratch my truck, boy. And it's gonna be on. It's probably a tight fit. Yeah, I was just making sure I had it right. I'd say lift these things up. There you go. And you probably go it's back probably there. designed so when you put it on, you can put it on like yeah. that. Yeah. That's probably what that was. Well, these things here, I do something. Wait. Is that it? I gotta put the the lock the handles in Let's here. See. This pin this pin was in like it's gonna go back in. It, it was in like this. I probably should have left it in, then took it out when I set it down on it. Cause if it was like that, then it'd have been easier to put on. I wouldn't have to do that. Yeah. That, that's why I set it that way. Alright, put the pin in. I guess I'm a little bit puzzled. Because that's a rubber piece right there. Yeah, I thought it was steel. What keeps this from just popping off? When you take it off, it'd be up this way when you put it on. Yeah, but I mean, I guess it's just the rubber. It's a little bit scary. Oh, I scratched your BMW hitch. There you go. So, so see if you can pull up on them handles and make it come off. All right, all right. I'm getting crazy with it. Okay, we gotta stick that handle in. This way or this way, does it matter? Oh, wait. I think it's gonna be like this. Well, she's in. I don't, I'm fixing to take it back out, so I, I got these pins out, but uh the torque on those inside bolts were 110. Mm -hmm. I did these at 90, that's a smaller bolt, so I did them at 90, 110 on those. Uh, after you got that part set up, you just pretty much just set the, I guess you call it a horseshoe plate down, just set it down on there and locked it in. Uh, it, we, we set it in the bed with these things loose just so it could get its four corners and then tighten it up when it was in there. And then these here, just with your hand, you could unscrew them with your hand or, or tighten them with your hand and made it tight. Made this, I wanted those snug, but not overly tight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I was thinking guys, what I'm probably gonna do, this video is gonna come out about probably around December the 15th or so, 14th. And I uh, want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas uh, for the, and I'm, everybody I'm sure that watches my channels know the reason for celebrating Christmas is Jesus. And we thank that so much. Um, the greatest gift of all, eternal life through Jesus. Uh, and all you got to do is just believe on them. It's not hard. Um, you don't have to, clean up uh, it takes you just like you are he wants you just like you are it's, you can't clean up enough for him anyway so all you have to do is just believe on him and and he'll save you but I was thinking uh, what I would do is uh, probably see you next year <laughs> it sounds like a lot of time but it's only about 15 days after this video so uh, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do a community post or maybe even a live but I plan on just kind of, you know, not videoing nothing for the rest of the year. Um, I've always told you guys, I want to video stuff that I am generally interested in and generally do. Like, you guys know I do like my boots and I do like my Coleman lanterns and I like my hitch and my truck and doing things like that. But I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm sitting around the house like, well, let's, uh, what can I make up today that I think would be fun? And, you know, and I'm not saying I wouldn't ever film something that out of the ordinary, you know, a white buck runs down through the yard. Yeah, I, if I got my camera, we'll film it. Say, guys, a white deer ran through the yard. 
but I'm not going to say, you know, uh, let, let me go out here and plant some fall tulips, which I, I shouldn't use that example because I actually do like tulips <laughs> and buttercups and things like that. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to make up something. So, but I figured, you know, we did about, I don't know, probably close to 100 videos this year. Maybe, wouldn't you think, Will? And I said, well, it's time for a little couple week vacation. But if something comes up interesting, we'll put it on there. But if not, we'll see you after the first of the year. So Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Keep in touch. Keep watching the videos. Keep commenting. I watch my YouTube every day, even though if I don't post nothing, I still see the comments. So hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you.